welcome to our uh, weekly session. So I come to you every day, um, every other day, actually, talking all things launching and uh, uh, <laughs> I just completely had a little bit of a, a brain blip having to start over. I talked all things launching and operating a successful and profitable travel business. And so one of the things that make you a, you a success is that your clients connecting with you or prospective people that are considering utilizing your services, connecting with you. And the best and most powerful way to do that is to create content that your ideal audience is interested in. However, what I know is that many travel advisors struggle with what to say. What is that content that's going to get somebody to connect with you? Let me know in comments if this is something that you struggle with. When I first started um, on the internet, in the internet, uh, on the internet street, so to speak, is I I always struggled with like, what do I say? What's what's important to my ideal client? I didn't really when I first started back in 2017. Actually, I started in 2016. I was like, you know, I, I was starting to listen to online digital marketing uh, training. I had started hiring coaches, and they always said that content was king right? Or in my case, content is queen. And I always thought to myself, well, what does that mean? <laughs> like, what kind of content? Like, what kind of content is better than this versus that? And so if you're anything like I was when you start, when you're in your business, you're like, okay, well, what is it that I'm supposed to be talking about? What am I supposed to be saying or doing that's going to make it so amazing, right? That's going to get people to connect. And so back in 2015, 2016, when I started, you just had to like kind of figure it out. Like you had to like, I went to Google, I went to Pinterest and I tried to figure out what was, um, what was like, what would be that magical thing that would get people to connect with me or to want to relate to me. And so back then, some 10, 12 years ago, you know, it was it was a lot of trial and error. And don't get me wrong, content is still a trial and error type of thing. But the ability to come up with ideas is so much easier than it was 10 or 12 years ago. And so now we've got our handy friend AI to help us. And so I'm going to talk to you today about how you can create a 30 day content plan that's really tailored to you your client and what you want to focus on in your travel business. So, you know, gone are the days that you've got to say, okay, well, I think I want to, I want to focus on adventure travel. I want to do spa travel. I want to do, you know, cruise. I want to do all inclusive and still trying to figure out what's going to be a good connection with your ideal client. So I consider myself to be, you know, over the last 18 months, what is now coined, like there's a, there's a new, uh, there's a new job description for the types of things that uh, when it comes to AI and one of those job descriptions is called a prompt engineer. I don't expect you all to become prompt engineers. I love doing it. So I do it for you. So what I've done is I've created a series of prompts that are aimed at getting a couple of really important key things out of your brain on paper and then allowing you to come up with some ideas for let's say the month of October. So what the first thing that I always tell you guys is you guys got to tell me who your ideal client is. So in comments, if you guys, while I'm, you know, getting everything set up, tell me who your ideal person is. And maybe you don't know who that is. Cause I know that that is probably the number one thing that people struggle with is who their who is, but tell me who you would like to work with. When you think about all the people that you have worked with in the past or you would like to work with in the future, who is that person? And I want you not to tell me demographics. I don't want you to tell me age, rank, and serial number or that kind of stuff. I want you to tell me about them. Is it a professional woman? Is it a black woman? Is it a mom who has kids? Is it a dad who has kids? Is it couples? Tell me about the person that you want to work with. Um, give me some specifics about that person, because that is going to be the key input that we need when it comes to defining and working with the prompts that I've created. Who are 
busy professionals is what somebody wrote for busy professional couples. All right. So that's good. That's a great starting point. I'm going to use that example as a starting point when I demonstrate to you the prompts. Before I get started, the tools that you're going to need to work on today's training is you're going to need ChatGPT or an equivalent. And so an equivalent would be, let's say if you're using Voyager Social, which is a travel specific uh, GPT that's focused on the travel industry. If you're even using um, Microsoft, uh, what is it, Bling or um Brand, I think, is the Microsoft version. I don't really care which GPT you're using. My choice is ChatGPT. I love ChatGPT. I'm on the professional version. Recommend if you're going to use a GPT, you probably need to upgrade to the professional version or their advanced paid version. It gives you access to models. And we'll talk a little bit about that when we when I start to demonstrate that. Um, but I'm going to use, uh, for this example, I'm going to use the first person early bird gets the worm. The first person who put in chat, um, on my YouTube channel, they put busy professional and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and this to the stage. And we have now both my prompt guide and we have chat GPT. I'm going to expand <coughs> my prompt guide. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start with chat GPT. We're going to start with, um, I'm actually going to show you kind of the steps that we're going to be using over this series. Let me show you that really quick. Let me get to that. All right. Hopefully that is now visible. All right. So we're going to do, we're in this lesson, we're going to go over the first five steps. And we're going to actually create a calendar of sorts that's going to give us ideas based on the type of content we want to release throughout the month. All right. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. Um, actually, let me go through the steps so you know. The first step is that we need to make sure that you have a clear understanding of who your ideal client is and what they're struggling with, what their pain points or struggles and their desires slash needs are. And that's just a fancy way of saying, What's important to them? Why can't they get themselves in and out of town themselves, right? Because they need a professional like you. So we want to make sure that we articulate that. When it comes to using ChatGPT or any GPT for that matter, you really need to make sure that you're clear to the GPT as to who you want to create your content for. So I always want to make sure that you guys are setting the stage of who that is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this prompt that I've created right here. I'm just going to copy this prompt and I'm going to actually use the ideal client that whoever just posted here. I'm going to post that. So in the section right here, I'm going to put busy professional couples. And what the GPT is going to do, I always like to say what the GPT is going to do is it's going to then spit out some great information about our ideal client. And so it's going to do its thing. And it's going to summarize for you and for me, what's the um, target audience for travel advisors, what their common pain points may be and some examples i've also included in this prompt some examples of how you as a travel advisor can um, relate to their specific needs i wanted to give you some examples of how you can do that and then also some ideas on some niche experiences that you can create for your ideal client so this is all sort of bonus information for you and then really what we want for the rest of our prompts is we want this information here, this summary and this pain point. So I'm going to actually copy this and put it, I'm going to put it right here at the bottom of this because I'm going to need to paste it later. So I'm just going to copy that right there. Now that we've set the stage, we've given our GPT an understanding of who our ideal client is and what their pain points are, we're now going to actually ask it to come up with step two, which is what are the themes and topics for the month that we want to talk about? We're talking about October. So I'm going to ask for some ideas. I designed this prompt to, uh, to give you three main themes 
and then subtopics underneath those themes. So let me go ahead and copy that. So prompt two is all about what these themes are. Now, if you are doing this prompt, if you're going to use this prompt already in this um, in this message, you won't need to copy your ideal client and summary of their pain points again because this message already has that context. That's the beauty of actually sort of building or using prompts on top of each other because it rem it keeps the context of what we're talking about. So it already has my pain points and the ideal client. So I'm just going to paste the second prompt, which is really going to then give me the three ideas themes for the month that I'm going to talk about. Now, I like to do themes. Not everybody may, may or may not like to do themes, but I like to keep my themes consistent. I like to build all my content out for the month actually in a sitting. I usually do that in a couple of hours. I build out 30 days worth of content, but I do it around a theme. Same thing for you. Your theme could be a destination. It could be, it could be a specific destination. It could take into consideration what your clients are interested in and build content around that. So it really depends on what kind of objective you have for content for the month. If you're running a specific promotion, you may want to have your theme include the promotion and the ideas that are generated here. But let's take a look at what these ideas are. So the first theme says stress-free planning for busy couples. And then the subtopics that you could talk about throughout the month would be how to plan a perfect getaway with three simple steps, save time with pre-planned itineraries, the best tools for quick and easy travel booking, which obviously one of those would be you. The other theme idea would be maximizing limited vacation time. So how do you do that the, um, with the subtopics on how to make the most out of a three day weekend escape? I love that for last minute ideas that you could give your prospective clients um, with top destinations for short, relaxing getaways, balancing adventure and relaxation in one trip. Again, the purpose of the themes is to keep you focused on the content that you're going to build throughout the month. The last idea is luxury travel made simple. Finding exclusive hidden gems with it without the hassle, the perfect blend, how to enjoy VIP treatment on a budget. These are all great subtopics. Your next step is to pick a theme. Pick what theme that you want to focus on for the month, and then the content that we create around that theme is going to be focused just on that theme and the subtopics that have been identified. Let me know in comments if these themes for the person who selected this, do these themes click with you? Do you like these themes as topic points for you to talk about for an entire month? You may be thinking, well, like, I don't know what to talk about, but don't worry, I got you covered because the next prompt is going to actually, once we select one of the themes, it's going to actually create the topics that you're going to talk about for depending on how frequently you want to talk. So I'm going to pick, let's see, which one should I pick? I think I'm going to pick the stress-free planning um, for busy professionals. So I'm going to pick this theme. I'm going to pick this one here and I'm going to just tell it that I've picked it. So I have picked this. All right. So I've told it which one that I've picked. And now based on that, I'm going to now use the prompt that's going to actually create my 30 days worth of social media. Okay. Hey, Latasha. All right, so now I'm going to use three, uh, my prompt three, which is going to actually then output it into a table of 30 days worth of content. I'm actually going to give it some more um, information. I'm going to, oh, actually, I think I already did that in my uh, prompt. All right, so let me just add some additional. I'm going to tell it, oops, let's stop that because I forgot to do this one little thing, put it in my other 
not in my um all right so here what i want is is i want to tell it the kind of content that i want to do um i want content type to equal blogs i want post i want long posts long posts are like i i like i actually like long posts which tell stories um, and really um, have a call to action in them. So I'm going to call that a long post. I'm also going to do a carousel post, which those are posts that have images that tell a story. So I want it to give me that. I also want reels. So I want a real script that is going to um, give me a reel so I can record a reel. Um, and then I also do, I do a training. So maybe you may want to do a webinar event that tells people that you actually invite people to. So let's call that a training event, training slash info, info event. And I want to do one of those monthly. I don't want to do those weekly. And then I'm going to tell it that, uh, frequency of posts equal um, three times per week. And then I'm going to tell it what platform I want to post on. I want Facebook, Instagram, and website for blogs and TikTok. I actually do YouTube. So you can identify the platforms. And then I'm going to say that my call, um, I think that's all that I need to put. Um, I, for some reason, didn't have the right prompt um, on this document. So I'm going to click send, and then it will create the table for us. So now what this is going to do is it's going to create a, um, it's going to create a schedule. Oops. I think that's the one thing I forgot to tell it is the start date. So let me just tell it the week. Sorry about this ladies and gents. So start date. And I'm putting September 29th just so that I have a clean start of the week. Um, and then we're going to have that. So, all right. Now we've got our. Content calendar that is spitting out the date, the type, the topic, the platform and some notes on what you need to do now. The beauty of this is you now have your content, your list of content topics that you're going to do. The next step after that is to actually then create the content. So once this gets done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the beginnings of my content document that's going to actually have the content that I want to um, speak to. So this is, I wonder why I did more than 30 days. Oh, because it, I only said, um, I only said, I said 30 days, but then I only said three times a week. So that's the reason why it extended it out. So it's giving me 30 pieces of content spread of starting on the 29th. And then here, if I did five days, it would have been four weeks. So you get to decide like your start and end date for your content. And then how many times we do content every day. So we, I think we do it seven days a week because we do videos seven days a week. Um, and if you're looking to see how to do videos that often, create a long piece of content and then uh, create shorts out of it. You'll want to check the video that I post um, that I tag in this um, to see how you can do that. All right. So now we've got all of our content ideas, right? So we've got the blog pieces. We've got the reels, the carousel posts, the long posts every single type of content that we need to create. So the last prompt that I want to do is I want to actually create this content in a list so that I can start to batch create it. So what I've done here is asked it, I'm going to ask it to create the output. Now that I've seen it, created it in a handy bulleted list for me. 
that's going to group the content types by the types of content that they are and the titles and the descriptions for each of them so that you have them and you can now go and create them. This is part one. You now have 30 days worth of blogs, reels, carousels, content types just based on four easy prompts that you can use inside of your travel business. Now, what we're going to do on part two of the series is we're going to actually create the content for the blogs, the reels, the long, all of these. We're going to actually create the content for each of those titles that we can use to post on our website. We can use to post on social media. We can create the reels for each of those. Stay tuned for next week's uh, lesson on part two, where we're going to actually create the content. Listen, I will see you guys next week. If you have any comments or let me know in comments, is this uh, great for you? you guys excited about these prompts? You, if you are inside of our AI for travel, I'm going to include the document that has our prompts. And then if you stay tuned for our complete series, you'll actually get the new GPT that we're creating that's going to make this even easier for you. We'll launch that um, on our last lesson. So let me know in comments if this um, is what you're looking for and you'd like to get more of this. Join us inside of our AI for Travel Pros Facebook group. I'll be releasing the actual prompts inside of that. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash AI for travel. And I will include the prompts inside of that Facebook group. And then I will see you next week for part two of our series where we're going to actually create the content for each of these um, post types. Um, inside of ChatGPT. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.